Welcome to our uh, Pathfinder Night, our Rise of the Rune Lords episode part four. So, uh, yeah, we just got done hashing out all of our pre-game details and everything like that. And we're going to go ahead and get into the throes of the game. So, let's get into it. All right, does everyone remember where we left off last time? At the beginning of the hunt. Hmm. We're going out Elmer Fudd style. That's uh, that's definitely a way of putting it. Aldern Foxglove has invited you all to a boar hunt in the Tickwood Forest. After you all have made certain friends of him, saving him from certain goblining, his own words. You've traveled for about a mile and a half deep into the forest nearby. Your bard friend has decided not to join you, instead to prepare himself for his later date. Bard gave and his Mac on. He's, uh, he's prettying himself up. He's looking for love in all the wrong places. <laughs> Uh, so, as you travel through the forest, eventually Aldern Foxglove puts up a hand and says, Whoa! and calls the party to a stop. He turns back to you and asks that the party dismounts, as he does himself, and readies his bow. He looks around and quietly says, this is the spot. This is where the boars are known to stay. In fact, look. Can, can I take a second to ready my crossbow as well as the free action? Yeah, everyone can prepare their weapons as they dismount. Oops. Cross rapier. Aldern points to a hill to the southwest. Look, do you see it? There's a boar. A young one at that. This should be an easy kill. He readies his bow and looks towards you. Would anyone care to take the first shot? He silently nods. All right. If we have no volunteers. He knocks an arrow. Yeah, we, we're not close enough, so. And none of us have high enough stealth, I don't think. All right. So it is, then. He knocks his arrow, aims steadily, and shoots towards the boar. The arrow flies true, sailing through the bushes and nailing the boar in the side. A true shot. Smashing deeply into the boar's chest, piercing its heart and knocking it dead. C -c 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 combo breaker. He turns back to everyone, grinning widely from ear to ear. Ah, yes, still got it. <laughs> that was quite indeed bre impressive. <laughs> ah, you wouldn't have thought from my noble fine exterior that I knew my way around a bow, now would you? 
Not quite as so as that, but you've demonstrated that you do, of course. <laughs> but this was but a young one. Let us not drop our guard down now. Aye, there's still good game to be had. Now, let's see if we can find more. He looks throughout the woods. Let's uh let's go ahead and roll initiative since combat has been started. Hey Earl, hmm. can you add Kyrie's uh, oh, I see. intelligence checks? Not uh, yeah. Oh, sure enough, yeah. You got to go down and roll initiative. It's under hit points. <laughs> yeah, you're probably Just... gonna have to add hers because she's on the tablet, you know. That's fine. I can work with that. All right, and uh, Kathos. finally gets a bad roll. <laughs> Darn. And of course, the melee character gets a... <laughs> yeah, gets the lowest roll. Right. I love it. That's alright, he's the cleanup crew. Alrighty. Turn order has been established. You are now deep in the tick wood forest ego start us off evo's go ego's going to slowly and as quietly as possible move forward mythoxus thank you so much for that follow appreciate your uh, fucking being here with us i hope you enjoy the show And then she'll just ready for anything to charge past. All right. Aldrin looks around cautiously, creeping forward quietly, so quietly that even the underbrush does not seem to make any noise as he walks past. As he stealthily sits behind one of these bushes, crouching low to the ground. Kyrie? Okay, um, I won't be able to move myself, but um, I'm going to move in between Ego and uh, Foxglove. Yeah, and then my bow is, or crossbow is already ready, so. Yeah, can, Ryan, would you be able to do that, or Earl? Why can't you move? I don't know. <laughs> it's not working. And do I hold it? <laughs> uh, you should be able to like tap on it and drag it. We might ought to just like get you a wireless mouse for that thing.
if you've got a spare USB yeah, mouse. Yeah, it's not letting her grab the token. Um, there's no, it only accepts uh, mini USB or micro USB, whatever the hell that is. Yeah, yeah, Bluetooth is going to be your best option. Yeah, I was about to say, I don't have a chip that can uh, go into that. All I have is regular USB. All right, well, just go ahead and ping where you want to be. Uh, I pinged for her right here between these two. All right. Yeah, sorry about that. We'll, we'll work on getting that fixed. Yeah, I figured there would be a little bit of a learning curve to it or whatever. Yeah, well, I mean, it's really difficult because, like, you know, with certain applications, you have to double tap to actually, like, you know, access stuff, or you have to, like, you know, tap and hold to access stuff. So we haven't, we just haven't figured out how to access this stuff on this website yet. <laughs> yeah. I think that Bluetooth mouse will just make all the difference. Yeah, I suppose that would probably take away 90% of the issue. Yeah, because, I mean, like, it, it'll it let me double tap on my character, but then it brings up, like, an info sheet pretty yeah. much. It brings up a hmm. right click for uh, editing yeah. the token. Hmm. All right. Anyway. Yeah. All right. Next up. Uh, I guess, Kyrie, once you make your way in between Ego and Aldern. Are you holding an action? Um, I'm going to go ahead and just, you know, overwatch pretty much. Okay. Dominicus. All right, Dominicus, Dominicus is going to uh, quietly and uh, lowly walk through the outside of the rest of the group into the edge of the clearing and uh, see what he can see. Rolling it. Boom. Perception. All right. So far, you can tell that the forest is rather quiet. The recent death of the other boar has caused most of the animals to flee the area. However, out of the corner of your eye, you can spot a few broken branches in the trees to the southeast. Yeah, kind of down, like in this area. I think I see something over there, I whisper behind me. End point. And uh, that will be the end of my turn. I'll just, you know, keep my hand on my mace. Kathos. Okay, um, Kathos is going to move up in front of Kyrie and Foxglove um, next to the second bush. Yeah. And he's going to ready himself for anything that pops out of the bushes or anything. Right up here. Ah. Nailed it. He has 35 movement. He's got 40 movement. Hmm. Yeah, he's got a crazy good move. All right. Okay, does she make her way down the forest path? Advancing past the rest of the party. Next up is Ego. Okay, 
goes going to as quietly as possible in her armor <laughs> move up next to Kathos. I spot I just point towards the the deer in the down here. And then I continue to move. To here. As you move closer, the deer's ears perk up. And it looks in your direction. A terrified look across its face. instinctively get lower to the ground. I have no more actions to take. All right. All right. As you make your way down the path, your clanking armor, as good as you try to hide it, is still very obvious amidst the quiet of the forest. You hear a grunt and a snarl. Looks at Kathos. Is that you? Poor deer. You are the slowest of all the deer. It reminds me of that uh, that Bambi meme. <laughs> what do you want to do? <laughs> I want to go play in the forest. I mean, in the field with my mother. Rolls a one. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Dead. <laughs> want to go play in the forest with the boars. <laughs> Rolls a five on a knit. <laughs> yeah. That one All right. Make it. Ego. The boar sees you. It is very upset that you have come through its territory. The boar charges at you. bearing down on you with its large tusks. You can tell that this boar is fully grown. As it runs full force at you. I assume landing a hit. Yes. Landing a very hard blow as it charges straight for you, its tusk impaling your leg. It squeals and snarls as it wrings its tusk free from the hole in your leg. Looks like it's time for real now, lads. <laughs> 
Let's help you go and then we'll get on with it. Aldern, upon seeing Ego be struck by the boar, readies another arrow. Whew. Ah, oh, Aldern, you were almost MVP. However, the arrow still lands in the boar's side. The boar squeals angrily as the arrow pierces its flesh, sticking out of its side. Good shot yet again, my friend. Let Aldern us take turns this thing to you down. And nods. Kyrie? I'm going to move next to Kathos, and then I'm going to fire the snowball at the boar. All right. I need you to roll a range touch attack. That's not a range touch attack. No, that's like the caster that's... level check. Wait, caster level check for a range yeah. touch attack? Well, no, no, that's what she rolled. She needs to roll a range touch attack. Oh. Yeah. Weird, I was about to say. <laughs> I thought, like, yeah, okay. But yeah, I get what you're saying. Yeah, because, like, she's literally throwing it. Yeah, that's, that's, that's fair. Yeah, because, yeah. I didn't even notice that it does have a roll for a caster level check. Mm-hmm. Oh, very nice. The snowball hits the boar. Uh, is it cool if I roll for her? Yeah, that's fine. All right, three damage. And I believe there is a save involved. Yeah, there's a fortitude save for a stagger. Versus a DC 11. All right, let's see it. Let's see if it's staggered. It is not staggered. The boar's tough skin allows it to shrug off the cold. However, you can tell that its wound has worsened as the cold eats away at the hole in its side. Also, move her next to Kathos, please. I'd move her if I could, but I don't know if you can give Where her the ability. Yeah, that's fine. I can, I can do that. Uh, actually... I think I'd do that from here. All right, try it now. Yeah, cool. You're gonna have to give it to me for Kathos. Yep. That works perfect. 
All right, cool. Cool. All right. Kyrie, you have injured the boar. Very good shot. Woo summoner. Just then, another boar comes running through the forest towards Ego. You can tell there's anger in its eyes as it sees what's happening to the other boar. However, it can take no more actions and on to Dominicus. Okay. Dominicus, being the, uh, you know, blessed, you know, fountain of generosity that he is, is going to step forth into the fray of combat. Raise his hands high into the sky in the name of Saren Ray. And then lay them upon his compatriot Ego Pride. Eh, I was hoping that would auto-roll, but I guess not. Nah, it's usually better to make those just attacks. Or create, like, a custom macro for it. There you go. Why does it say plus two? Because I get plus one to it for each uh, caster level. Caster level and character level are not the same. I'm pretty sure I'm caster level two. Depends on the class, but I'm pretty sure Cleric gets full caster level. Yeah, that's what that's I thought. It? Yeah, base level 2. Caster level check, base level 2. Yeah, so I'm at level 2 caster level. So he can cast level 2 cleric spell? Xanix, thank you so much for that follow. Hope that you enjoy your time here and enjoy the show, buddy. Thank you so much for hanging out with well. us. Um, no, I cannot cast level 2 spells is not, not what that means. It just means that I have caster level of 2. Yeah, that's his level of casting, not the, should we call it, circle of spells that he can cast. Yeah. Like like a paladin is caster level minus three, is character level minus three, I'm sorry, uh, to equal his caster level, and rangers as well. So there's a few other instances where that does come into play. Yeah, and a lot of it is coming from my concentration checks and shit. Yeah. I have such high wisdom that I'm getting bonuses from my modifiers to my base level. Right. But yeah, according to everything on my character sheet, that should be 100% accurate. I can definitely cast, uh, you know, at a caster level too. Yep. So you get eight good old hit points. Cog over here trying to argue to get one less hit point. <laughs> <laughs> one way or another, you're getting them health points. <laughs> you take this health. Yeah, if I have to you slap take... you with a health potion in the back of the head. Right? <laughs> I will go Final Fantasy Tactics, uh, you know. What are they? What were they? Uh, the people. Oh, yeah, them? where they literally <laughs> throw the throw potions, potions at you and it just shatters. Said, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Give you a tracheotomy and then pour the potion down the hole. Seriously. <laughs> oh no, I'm dying all of a sudden. You just get nailed to the potion. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Yeah, that will be the end of my turn. All right, very good. Ego, you are almost back to full. But upon seeing the commotion, the deer very hurriedly runs its ass away. The 
attempting to hide behind the trees. Kathos. Oh, Kathos. Should I say Kathos. runs its hind? <laughs> Sorry. Kathos is going to run in front of Kyrie and in front of the boar that's next to Ego. And he's going to attack him with his claw. Did it go through? Thirteen. Just barely misses. Whew. Good, but does not confirm. You deal three damage to the boar. The boar is now bleeding severely. But it is still standing. Well, now it's bleeding for another one. Yay, bleed damage. Very good. Round three. Rebel three. Ego. You have two very upset boars in front of you. I suppose I should hit one. Or you could flash your wang to him like Javier. <laughs> I think I'll go with hitting one instead. Well, I mean, you don't have a wang anyway, so... <laughs> she could craft herself a wang. Let's craft a metal wang real quick. <laughs> Masterwork wing. I am that good. <laughs> hey, I wouldn't put it past her. Eight does not hit. What a shock. <laughs> You'll hit something one of these days. I... I'm Preferably something that doesn't kill me for doing so. I mean, we got to come across a barn eventually. And plus, you rolled a seven. That's not, you know, you'll get there. However, Boar's turn. It takes one bleed damage. Uh, wrong boar. Yeah, that's the wrong boar. Oh. Oh, okay, yeah, you hit that one. The one... Correction. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Very good, okay. Yeah, takes no damage. <laughs> Love it whenever we make things really not take damage. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> We're trying to kill stuff, you're trying to kill yourself and let other stuff live. <laughs> Everything dies. Santa Claus is dead. Santa Claus is dead. <laughs> All right. So the boar angrily looks up at Ego and swings its tusks at him. Her. I was about to say you keep forgetting she has a vagina. A vagina. Hey, look, I get hit. Hmm, if only I had that plate. <laughs> if only. Yeah, Landing. that thing you forbid me from having. Another tusk deeply into your thighs. It squeals and grunts angrily. Alder. All right, Aldern. He knocks another arrow, pointing towards the boar in front of Kathos. Missing wildly as the arrow sails off. We can't win them all. <laughs> he looks around. Oh, you saw that, did you? Heh, well, 
you know, as you said, you can't win them all. We'll get it yet, though. All we have to do is keep Ego on her feet while we do so. And I've got thank that. <laughs> th thank you for not hitting me. Ah, no problem. You do seem like a sturdy broad, though. Kyrie. Okay, Kyrie is going to <clears throat> cast Acid Splash on the boar in front of Kathos. Huh. Well, okay, that spell's gonna require some work. Basically what it says is to roll range touch attack and then do a 1d3. Yep. Whiff. Does not hit. All right, this boar takes bleed. Yes, it does. <laughs> As it swings its head around. Bambi escaped already? Bambi is trying to get the fuck out. Nobody's going to kill Bambi? Okay, which one are we going to worry about, the deer or you? <laughs> the deer. <laughs> it's got to be worth at least 10 XP points. Let nothing escape. Landing a hefty blow as its head slams against Kathos, tusks scraping its sides. Those roars. Luck be a boar tonight. So that was seven damage taken by Kathos? Yes. Dominicus, your melee are getting thrashed by the boar. In the name of Saren Ray, I will keep all of you on your feet. You can't use your spell on Kathos. No, I can't use my spell, but I can use channel. Can you? Yes, can. Affects all creatures of of one type, and since he is a humanoid type, I can suggest humanoids as the type, and since we are all humanoids, we all get healed. Okay. At least that's how I'm interpreting it, because it says, channeling energy causes a burst that affects all creatures of one type. Uh, that's typically living or dead. Okay, well, yeah, then, then living, because he does count as living. Yeah. So, Kathos is alive, he is affected by channel. Yeah, so here we go, blowing channel energy, and I am only focusing on my allies. Hey, it's better than nothing, right? It's something. I also, I need to remember to look into my uh, domain for healing because I'm pretty sure that my domain for healing gives me plus one to any type that is listed as healing. Yeah. Depends on if it's a spell or a supernatural ability, I guess. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, I know there's something in there about that, but I don't remember exactly what it is, so I'm not going to waste anybody's time right now, But because that was my fault for not having it ready. But, yeah, I need to remind myself about that. <laughs> okay. Bye-bye, Bambi. Uh, that is it for me, though. I will not do anything else. All right. I'm going to take a moment to catch breath. Bambi is going to run, hiding in the shadows behind the trees. Not escape. Hmm. What a dumb deer. 
I mean, it doesn't have much intelligence. I was about to say, it's about as smart as that log next to you. <laughs> it's a little bit smarter. I don't see any log next to me. I, I, think I mean, on it, the other side of the board, there's a huge down tree. That's not next to me. It, it... Technically, the whole map is next to you. <laughs> Technically, you're next to me, too. I know. Semantics. Santa Claus is dead, but anyway. <laughs> Kathos. The boat is mine. Kathos is going to roar angrily at the boar who injured him and attack, and, and attack him with his claws, hoping to destroy him. 14 does land, 12 does not. Six. Oh. oh! Oh! You tear open a gaping wound into the boar. While it may have only seemed like a mere scratch at first, yeah. you have caught a main artery as blood starts gushing from the side of the boar. Kathos roars in excitement. <laughs> Blood soaking into the ground, creating a dark reddish mess. I'll show that boar. Stop goring our allies. Unless you're prepared to be mauled by a freakish half-man, half-bull taloned carnage machine. This is not what the boar was expecting when it got up this morning. I don't think anybody's ever expecting to see Kathos. <laughs> <laughs> Ego. Ego goes ahead and puts her rapier up towards this guy and then quickly whips it down at the boar. Which one are you swinging at? The the lower one. You strike true. Bum, bum, Piercing bum, bum. into the boar. And five foot step. You can tell that the boar in front of you is starting to not look so great. But rage still fills its eyes as it adamantly grunts and snarls at you. Oh my god. What's your AC? Mine? Yeah. Don't say 18. it out loud, just say if it hits or confirms. <laughs> All right. It does not confirm, but you can tell that all of the pain this boar sustained has only made it angrier. I noticed that its attack roll got weaker. It's always been a plus four. No, it hasn't. Very first one was a plus six. Oh, that's because it charged. Yeah, I was about to say that was a charging attack. Okay. Yeah. Either way, it strikes you with another tusk, tearing away at your legs, which leaves an opening for Aldern. He pulls an arrow out of out of his quiver, gives it a kiss, knocks it, and looses it towards the boar. Striking the boar in the neck as it grunts one last time as it falls to the ground.
Aldern calls out, Ah, the thrill of the hunt. Thrilled that I'm not being hunted anymore. Kyrie. All right, Kyrie is going to cast Acid Splash on the boar in front of Kasis. Yeah, just roll the 1D. Uh, I mean, just roll your range touch attack. Yeah, just declare Acid Splash and then roll your range touch attack. You don't even have to worry about anything else. Yeah. 10 does hit touch. It has no natural armor? Boom. Very good. That also lingers for one round. Fundaba. Alright. Four bleeds. By now you can tell that the boar is starting to get weak as all of the blood is draining very rapidly from its body. Wait, does the acid damage take effect now since it's the beginning of its turn? That, uh, I'm going to say that starts because it's still this current round. Okay, yeah, you're right. So it'll start at the, you know, on fucking uh, Ego Pride's turn. Yeah. That's a solid, yeah. Yeah, I can agree with that. Yeah. However, you can tell that the loss of blood has caused it to become woozy. It swings weakly towards Kathos. Slamming its nose into the ground as it swings. We've got it on the ropes now. Doesn't that provoke an attack of opportunity for Kathos? You can get a CMB of opportunity, we'll call it. You got so you the can... two attacks on the last few on me. For yeah. Once. But we're already kicking this thing's ass. <laughs> That's more of a house ruling that you can disarm or uh, trip or CMB on something. Just because I don't like the normal roll of one, you drop your weapon rule. But yeah, uh, I just don't like that. Devin's but opting you not took to try to grapple full it. Full attacks and damage on me previously for it. Uh. I don't believe so. I only do CMBs on those, but. Okay. That might have been something else. But yeah. But you can attempt to trip it if you want. Yeah, uh, she's not going to try. Right. Kathos is not the most graceful thing. Alright, Dominicus. Okay. Dominicus raises a paw from under his cloak in the name of Saren Ray and reaches high to the sky and praises her name. Channels energy. God damn it. <laughs> Saren Ray, why? <laughs> Saren Ray is a harsh mistress. Perhaps if I were lawful good instead of neutral good. Bambi will cower and I'll negate this. Yeah, Kathos is going to attack the badly injured boar with claws. Oh, oh my oh god. god. The poor boar. 
Kathos literally tears the boar into pieces, its head falling on the ground, its leg falling slightly about a foot away from the rest of its body. Blood Kathos, all over yeah. Kathos. You beastly creature, way to fucking go! <laughs> Aldern calls out. There won't be any usable meat left after that. I suppose that does equal payback to Ego, then. <laughs> I suppose it does. Kathos sniffs and grunts in the direction that the deer was running. I ask, are we going after the, that deer? That's on you, Aldern. Should we? It would make a nice mantelpiece. Yes, a mantelpiece would be nice, but I have many of those at home. Don't you worry. Not to mention... That one still seems rather young, and it is not the season for deer. I don't see any use for it, but if you'd like to, it's up to you. Kathos doesn't care what season it is. Ah. Dominicus turns and walks away. No point in wasting time on such a squabbling. Plus, if you treat it the same way you treat this boar, we won't have anything to eat for dinner. It's true. We may have to be picking pieces out of the bushes with that beast of a Kathos around. He is quite useful, but my does he get excited. Ah, uh, true. He chuckles slightly dejectedly. But, good work, everyone. Let us gather our earnings here and head back to town, for we will feast tonight at the Rusty Dragon Inn. A Mako makes a great boar stew. Sounds delicious, then. Excellent. Kathos, scoop up all the boar. <laughs> all right. Everyone collects the rest of the boar. No, Straps. Kathos collects the boar. He can carry up to 500 pounds and move freely. I just said that. Kathos collects the boar. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, we literally don't have to do shit. He can carry so much weight. <laughs> yeah, very good. All right. Go ahead and add 600 experience for killing three boar. Do I get experience? <laughs> you get out of here. <laughs> Don't you worry. You'll have your turn. Step off. <laughs> Step off. Step off. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> In short, you chose not to come on this one. Sorry. Lol. <laughs> <laughs> Dumb bitch. <laughs> Next time, come on more things. Never choose not to come on something. <laughs> I think that is the problem, is that he chose to come on something. Uh, all right. So, everyone uh, gathers their, their things. Kathos gathers the boar meat. 
Hey, Thank hey. you. Uh, can, can I take a uh, quick five minute to uh, blow two or three uh, channels to heal everybody up? Yeah. Okay, let me do that. Yeah, if y'all want to do anything in the forest, you're more than free to. Everybody heal for four. All right, that's, uh, you know, almost at my limit for the day. <laughs> Just to look around, see what I see. All right. Let's forget that. Yeah. He'll check Ego. for everybody else. You look around and see snakes. Tons and tons of snakes. There are snakes everywhere. <laughs> frothing <laughs> from the bushes. <laughs> I'm just kidding. From the edge of the forest, you see a bird-like creature swoop in. <laughs> its uh, name is Iron Fury. Um, as far as you can tell, there seem to be no more creatures within this area of the forest. You do see a few things. Uh. You can give me a survival if you want to try and gather any. Yeah. I was going to say, anything. does anyone have survival? But as far as perception, you really don't notice anything out of the ordinary. It just seems to be a now quiet opening. All right. Walking through the small clearing in the forest, you find a few edible berries. some kindling, and a few mushrooms growing underneath the log. I'll leave them be. Okay. Very good. I'm too good to be picking up such things. So, so it is. All right, I guess everyone's gonna travel back to Sandpoint. Indeed. You know, okay, very good. if there's anything along the way, can we roll like a uh, survival check to see if we can pick up any edibles or usables for like, uh, you know, small crafting? On your way back to town, you really don't notice anything of use aside from standard trees, branches most of which are really just normal indigenous trees which grow everywhere. It would seem useless to drag them a mile and a half down the road when you can just head right outside of town and gather the same thing. Bupkis got you. <laughs> <laughs> we got Bupkis, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> In short, Nothing of use. You ain't got to tell me that, which I already know. So, Foxglove, what's going to happen with these boars? Ah, we're going to take those back to Ameko, back at the Rusty Dragon Inn, and tonight we will feast like kings. Huzzah! Dominicus races Boar. a paw. Boar stew, boar on a stick, grilled boar, 
I tell you, you've got to try her grilled boar. The seasoning she gets her truly out of this world. One of the joys so, of living in a port town. So what is your plan for the pelts then? The pelts? Well, not much to be honest. I've no use for them. I really don't do anything as far as leather working or anything like that. And Lord knows I don't need to bring any trophies home. Do you think that our group could possibly use them? Yeah, certainly, if you'd like the pelts. I would love to have the pelts. Then they're all yours. I just keep them away from me. <laughs> ah, but I do have to say I'm... Very pleased to see your level of fortitude. I thought you were just a mere crafter, but you are very strong. Well, you kind of need to be strong in order to do the kind of crafting I do. Uh, that does make sense. An artisan such as you cannot stand near a forge and not be able to suffer at least a little. I, I do imagine hefting hand over fist, coal and iron over and over again probably does help one get better with, you know, any of the mundane or manual sorts of arts. <laughs> hmm. That's very true. Very true. I certainly didn't expect you to keep up to par with the saviors of Sandpoint. You well, know, I'm just an add-on right now, but I intend to make them, them accept me. Because why wouldn't they? Hmm. Yeah, well said. An industrious young lass such as yourself certainly deserves some praises. Praises and boar steak and grilled boar on a stick. Aldern pumps his fist and yells, For the hunt! For the hunt indeed. Yan. All right. As everyone is starting to make it back into Sandpoint, it is now reaching late evening. And that will move us on to Javier. Oh my. Oh my, indeed. Let's check in with the Javier Felipe Juarez experience. So where Javier. am I? 